Hi, everybody. <laughs> My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto, under 20 today. And, um, yep, here we are. I was trying to find the perfect lighting, but when you're 67, you know, how much perfect lighting can you ask for, right? So, here I am doing my keto today. How about you? I hope you're doing keto. Let me ask you something. Are you bored? You can tell me. Go ahead. Tell me. Are you bored with your food plan? When you hear me going on and on again each day about how excited I am about my salad or my steak or my veggies, extra veggies on Sunday, do you sit there and say, what is wrong with her? How can she keep eating the same things every day and not get bored? Well, I love the foods. They're rich. They're what I love. What doesn't taste better with butter on it or more oil in the, in the salad? You know, I just, I really love the keto food plan. I love all the items that I'm able to have. And so I don't go jonesing to keto -fi. I'm not on Pinterest for four hours a day trying to find the right, the right thing to have. I'm not doing any of that. I just stick to my basics, you know, uh, Fancy for me is my keto pizza, one on sa Saturdays each week. And um, that's about as keto fied as I want to get. And now that we have the second one, now we have a choice in our keto pizzas. And so today will be the fancy one with the blue cheese and the goat cheese um, that came from the Eat Rich and Live Long book that I just got from Ivor Cummins. And I, I know... I'm not the only fan of the guy out there. Mm-hmm. Yep, he must have quite the fan club because he's brilliant, he's funny, he's trim. He just looks great. It's um, it's a pleasure to always watch him. I mean, his brilliance just jumps out of the screen, and I so enjoy him. So I'm not one that um, you will find trying out different types of recipes to break my boredom. I'm very happy with what I'm having. I think Keto Mad is too. And um, he loves his things too. And when they do grocery hauls, that's how I can kind of tell. But he was talking about it the other day. And he did an excellent video. So it's Keto Mad and um, K-E-T-O-M-A-D. And he did one on cheating. And it was a really good um you know what I like with something like that? Because he does his research and he knows his stuff. And so after he does a video, um, what he gets are very mindful, thoughtful, um, dedicated to their keto program people or carnivore program people. He doesn't get silly, you know, sometimes you'll read what people put on other people's comments after a video and it's just, sometimes it's just silly dilly stuff. But the ones that he has, you know, you can tell that he draws um, older man, men that do the program, kind of like I draw the older women, and every now and then some older men. But, you know, we both have our niches, and and it's great to um, read his circle of, of uh, keto community and what they say. And so he was talking about cheating, and, you know, sometimes we can get bored, but if you if you get too triggered from looking at all the other keto foods, I don't know what to tell you because I don't want you to think of cheating as a way to handle the boredom in your keto program. It's never, ever, ever worth it. And why? Because, well, watch his video and learn why. It can take you a long, long time to get back. And if you're um, a food addict like I am, then you don't know if you're going to come back. Because one slip of garbage could lead you down a path that just, it, it's hard to describe unless it's happened to you. Not unlike the alcoholic that has one drink and says, oh, nothing happened. I'm cured. Well, guess what? Not this part. <laughs> the head starts playing you. And so if you are doing your keto and you think you're bored, and you want to change things up and you've tried all the little keto fad trend things 
and nothing shaking this plateau that you have, which I think is just nature doing what nature does. So, you know, if I'm working with you and you hit a plateau, that's what I'm going to be telling you. It's just like, it's kind of like not, well, maybe it's too TMI, but if you're constipated and you just can't go, sometimes it's just nature, nature's going to take what it's going to take to work its way out, just like a cold, right? You can't rush it. You can, you know, some people like eat at it. Some people exercise at it. Some people sweat it out and go to a sauna. It, it's going to take as long as it takes and not an hour less or a day more. And that's what plateaus are about. But don't get bored and jump because jumping into carbs is never going to be the remedy for being bored. It's going to, it could take you out for a long, long time. And it, why would you want to? I mean, don't you just love keto just the way that it is? Don't forget all those health benefits, or maybe you have to forget those health benefits and be smacked upside the head because it's like, oh, I forgot what it's like to sleep, to not have aches, to not have to have a nap, to not be looking at the clock, to not want to keep, you know, want to start snacking, right? It could take you a long time to get back here into a nice keto under 20 food plan where you're not snacking. You might be having only one meal a day, OMAD. You might be having two meals a day, but suddenly after having garbage, if you really read what happens to people or hear them in a podcast of True Confessions, they're going to be hungry all the time. So then you've got the garbage withdrawal. And if you haven't had a garbage withdrawal, a sugar withdrawal, something like that, because you thought you deserved, oh, let's just say your birthday cake or something like that. And it really could mess with your insides and definitely mess with this. <laughs> and if you've got something carby at the house, that is your drug of choice, so to speak. Oh. So you think that you can like put it in the fridge or wrap it and it doesn't talk to you? Really? I mean, go listen to the Mike's podcast on Keto Mad about the ice cream. It talked to him <laughs> right through that freezer. I know that feeling. You know, before I found keto, when I thought I was like managing my own um, weight management program, yeah. There's a, there's a, that's where you laugh, right? When you think you can handle it. And I'd buy those two containers of the stuff that you keep in the freezer because I thought I could handle it in small doses every night. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Like I have to tell any of you what happens with that. You know, my last drug of choice, you buy, you buy in that part of the store where it comes in that clamshell thing. Yeah. Um, Two of those per week, all me. You know, I moved away from the thing in the freezer to the thing in the clamshell thing, and it's round and it's got layers. Yeah. Yeah. I was having two of those every week, all on my own, jonesing. And I never thought about anything else. Forget, like, you know, I probably ate the healthy meal, but then right on top of it, you know, I had to automatically have the thing that comes at the end of the meal in the standard American diet. Somebody called it the sick American diet. Yeah, that's SAD. Yeah. But either way, it's still very, very sad. It's not Sarah's all-time diet. No. It used to be Sarah's always diet. <laughs> that was sad too. So if you're bored, do not seek, do not seek foods that aren't keto. You might have to, maybe you have to keto -fy a couple of things just to get through a period of being bored. But I'm just, I know for me with my food addict, you know, it, it's too triggering to make something that's keto -fied. So technically it's legal, but it could lead me right back to where I was before. And um, I don't want to go back. How can I? I've got <laughs> I've gotten such accountability today, being here, having, you know, the clients, what am I going to say to them? You know, don't do as I do, tee hee. No, no. So 
you know, hopefully you've got your um, circle of videos that you can watch either every day or on a weekly basis. You can tune in and hear whatever they say one day a week or seven days a week or sporadically. And it keeps you um, in a place of feeling sane, in a place of feeling safe, in a place of wanting to keep doing keto. You know, I've told some of you that I was watching somebody that I thought was doing a strict keto, and at the end she, you know, pulls up this candy thing this big and says, yes, my reward. We don't reward ourselves when we're doing keto with food. We find other, other ways of rewarding ourselves. Manicure, pedicure, you know, a new top a new perfume, something new, depending on your budget, right? Or, you know, uh, having some sort of wonderful piece of um, fatty meat that you normally wouldn't treat yourself to. Those are the thor sort of thor things that <laughs> we, we reward ourselves with or have a treat with. We don't, we don't do it with non-keto food items. We don't promise ourselves when we get to such and such a weight that we'll have that. It's not it's not for us. We don't want to cheat. We don't want to be bored. So CYA, you know, find somebody that cooks the way that um, you don't. And maybe, you know, a little food porn just to get some ideas for keto foods. Um, or, you know, put it in the comments that you're bored. What should you try? You know, sometimes we just get in such a rut, but you don't want to get in a rut with a ladder that you climb out of and you're back into the standard American diet, okay? You want to be safe. You don't want to, I'm telling you, if you have an addict like I do, it won't take much to just skew your way of thinking. It's like, well, okay, okay, I'll just have what I want today and then I'll hop back on it. Well, that's Thursday night. So then comes Friday and it's like, oh, the, the office always gets such and such. So I'm just going to have that and then I'm going to come back. And then comes the weekend where somebody says to you, go out to breakfast and you go. And instead of that boring omelet that you have, you know, you order something that isn't necessarily keto. And then Sunday comes and you're, you're into the, you know, efforts. And uh, that's forget about it. And, and, you know, then the promise is I'll do it Monday. And then you've got four or five days worth of collateral damage of eating things that you weren't eating and the withdrawal I'm telling you is not fun so try to stay clean eating clean and eating abstinent there's nothing nothing that feels as good going to bed abstinent for the day and waking up the next day knowing that you have that abstinent day behind you and maybe an abstinent day behind that and so on and so forth in the background there's nothing like keto. It's totally satiating and satisfying. But for some people, it might creep in that they just get a little bit bored. So you got you to gotta steer your own ship into a safe harbor of a different keto food or casserole or something that will satisfy that need to try something different, but stay in the keto-friendly family foods, please. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. With keto, under 20 today, I'm not deviating, and I hope you don't either. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe below if you need the one-on-one -on -one keto coaching, sarah.com. I have a few different packages. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.